Vikram and Anjan. Oh, Anjan, I mean, though. So we try to implement a bunch of features. First of all, in our display, we have a variable display. So um, in our display, which you know, like you should probably get it on, it can basically go, uh, the x can go to like either half, like one fourth of the quarter, or like two, one quarter, two quarter, or four quarters. And so can y, it can go to like half, or it can go to like one, one quarter, or like two quarters, or like four quarters. We also have the current node display. We have like a nice feature over here. And then um, we have the ability to translate our display across the screen. For the audio part, um, yeah, I think you're audio part. So, can you tell uh, first what you did? Uh, okay, so we did chords and harmonics. So, like for the harmonics part, we have like two different kinds of instruments that like can play with different sound. But like it doesn't sound so a lot of, like a lot of different. But I mean, we can tell the difference from the wave display. Uh, and yeah, I mean, we're, actually, we're pretty bad at like designing harmonics. So. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and for um, each harmonic, like for each kind of uh, music instrument, we have like uh, three harmonics with like one but no frequency, uh, to make sound like a little bit different from like the um, big sound. And also we implement the uh, end of part so that like every time, like, so that that's actually like a switch to so we have like a switch to a song that we can get uh, that kind of decay. And we also have like actually um, Can we hear these things? Yeah. Yes. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, uh, you want to introduce like, the uh, part? So, I'll the first song, which is the fire. So, I can show you the space. First of all, again, F3 different fire positions. You can also have giving it to a combination of nine possible combinations. And if you look at this, you can nicely translate this across the screen. The cool thing is that if you're over here and you're trying to like expand it even more, then the author is just itself. go to the main position so that it's not like you're expanding from over here, it goes back to over there. Um, so you can like move to the next song and So when you were getting the hiss there, was it doing some kind of limiting behavior or what what was causing that? Uh, so uh, there there like there is like a limiting behavior. So we choose to display like all waves in this part, which is like ten twenty four times of five twenty six I think. Mm -hmm. And we choose this part to display pictures and the like not to. So like actually this is a like, limiting function. Yeah, but on the sound there during some of those notes it would go to a you know from you know a somewhat distorted sound to a very distorted sound. Was that just an artifact of the song or was it actually like clipping or something like that? I guess that's an effect of the sound because some very high frequencies. No, so we're trying to like implement initially like Harry Potter and we try to implement piano sound. Mm -hmm. And then we put like ah. So we couldn't like get that right, the piano like harmonics, mm -hmm. and that's why it's like a really like Yeah. And maybe that your harmonic step size is actually wrapping around in, in the Yeah. Also like we have the word Your note display says reset anytime there's no note loaded in that yeah. note player. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if we go to the next song.
close to the start of the song which you're playing and doesn't go beyond that. So that's a nice function that you have. Um, also, yeah. And by the way, we try to like write an open song for like this function that's built. Writing this on song build. Does the rewind uh, properly do note delays? No, oh, it just yeah. goes uh, yeah. in the mm -hmm. direction. Yeah. Yeah. Also, when you're trying to like crash it, the display, then oh. it doesn't go beyond like left and like the stop oh, over there, so it doesn't like get rid of the image, so it also stops over there. Also. Can, can you make it straddle downward? Does it pan all the way to the bottom? Okay, yeah. Stop. Yeah, a bunch of people had trouble with the bottom half of the display for some obscure reason. Yeah, it was kind of messy. Because like our screen is like beyond. Like less than one circuit board over here. So that's why it looks like 50 to over here. Especially when you were just playing the full screen, I had to like cross it back a little bit. So it's actually a little bit and not like the little. And then we have echo. Uh, for echo, we try to do a variable echo. So you have either like the echo uh, amplitude is like a half the original wave or one fourth. And the delay can be variable from like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. So it's all adjustable. Um, Sample and then what was happening that made that not work? No, initially, like we were trying to store every other sample is generated from the sign reader, and that was like what I think like lots <laughs> 24 megahertz or something, so mm -hmm. it was like uh, impossible to do. It's like putting like tiny RAM. But then oh, so you, you don't mean every sample, you mean yeah. every clock. Exactly. <laughs> so when you did that, you could like totally store it in the RAM. And we only use like one RAM, so you're storing it in one condition, and the delay is just controlled by where you're reading it from. Like, it is easier to like change there. And right now, like, it's okay. Like, like, 
there are like four time intervals for the gain. So like in this first time interval, it decreased by like um, like uh, like like almost one half of the um, like original amplitude, and in the second interval, it decreased like by one fourth. So like you can hear the uh, like the gain sound there. Okay, what was the division of effort? <coughs> so uh, I did more like to display an echo part. Yeah. To display the translation to the display of uh, sort of picture in the background. Yeah, and let's put the go and part and other parts, other parts of the and then work on the rest of the other yeah. I mean like we developed the algorithm together during Thanksgiving. <laughs> What do you think is the highlight, highlight part for your project? Highlight uh, for um, highlight? Yes, highlight. Oh, highlight? Yes. I don't know, so initially uh, getting course to work was like the biggest milestone, but after that it was just like higher multiplication or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Also like for harmonics part, instead of like multiplying different multipliers, all we did was like generate different sign readers, and that's basically a lot of space. And also we tried to like minimize the use of multipliers, so whenever our like actually is being like half or like one fourth, we're all like shifting bits in all places. So the only place we're actually using multipliers is when you're 